Hello everyone, this is our Hawaiian Volcano Summary for June 5th, 2025. Uh, Kilauea Summit its eruption has made its 24th episode that began last night, June 4th, and ended this morning, June 5th, after about seven and a half hours of fountaining. Um, the fountains all remain within the crater, although they are building some uh, accumulation of tephra on that southwest rim, which is visible in some of these camera views. These are time-lapse images of the live streams from the USGS, showing lava coming out from the north vent first, and then adding to the south vent as well, with those initial high fountains uh, greatly exceeding the height of the crater wall behind it, and feeding massive flows within its western part of the crater, and building an edifice within the western part of the crater itself. The gas cloud was ejected into the air up to 16,500 feet, or 5,000 meters, and that largely kept the impact of VOG uh, away from people on the ground, although there does seem to be some impact, as we'll see here in just a minute. What you can see here is that shut off of the north vent, then the south vent, visible from the various cameras following the overflow that began uh, last evening. So the SGS has now noted the times and ends, as well as durations of fountainings, and an estimated volume of five, th uh, 5 million cubic meters uh, for this latest episode following the pattern of the previous ones listed here. All this still happening in the southwest part of Hale Ma'uma'u Crater within the greater caldera of Kilauea, within a national park, and posing no additional threat to people. Largely, it's the VOG and the fallout, which are impact, impactful and restricted to the closed areas of the national park at present. Uh, following the, let's see here. Following the, the collapse of the, following the, the deflationary part of the tilt here that accompanied episode, episode 24, we've seen the beginnings of inflation coming back up. Uh, so it does appear that we are in for another episode after another recovery phase of the volcano refilling with magma on the ground. The USGS says it's too early to predict another uh, time window quite yet, but considering the drop in ground tilt that we've seen in 24 being similar to 23, we should expect a similar pause of about 10 days, which is what preceded this most recent episode. And that's what they show in their analysis in today's daily update right there. So the VOG dashboard is showing fairly limited emissions at lower levels, and those emissions being carried to the southwest, affecting the typical areas nearby and downwind of Kilauea. Uh, but we can look at a freshly in satellite capture of SO2 in the full atmosphere that's showing quite a lot of this, of this uh, gas in abundance over both sides of the island and, in fact, drifting to the north as well. So it does suggest that the upper atmosphere is involved in dis dispersing those winds because our citizen science monitoring network is showing fairly limited impacts on the ground. There are some, but they are limited. Otherwise, earthquakes have been quiet over the past week, uh, following the same pattern as we've seen since the beginning of this eruption in late December 2024. There are a few earthquakes underneath Kilauea Caldera, with some adjustments happening there, as well as Kilauea South Flank and the feeder zone from the Pahala hotspot. So these are all within background ranges and actually a little bit lower than we've, we're used to seeing because as eruption is uh, offering a relief for any of the pressure building on the ground from magma, the volcano is, is moving a little bit less than it typically does. We can see here in our north-south GPS across the summit caldera that we are oscillating across an in slowly spreading center, although that rate is quite a bit slower than we've seen in previous parts of the year leading to other eruptions on Kilauea. On the Middle East rift by Puo'o, closer to people, uh, we still see contraction of the rift and a little bit more noise in the data due to some local adjustments, adjustments and settling most likely, but still showing no uh, sign of magma intrusion as was the case in the middle of last year. That's it on Kilauea. Mauna Loa is still quiet as usual. Uh, here the whole last month of earthquakes showing a smattering of events. An, underneath the summit and under the west flank as well, but well within uh, normal levels that we've seen 
here at Earthquakes per month over the last five years. You can see the rates are maybe growing slightly, but they're still well within this background rate and no, nothing near the levels we saw in the years of buildup ahead of Mauna Loa's eruption in 2022. Still, the caldera appears to be rising as shown by the GPS, showing the, the mountain is still filling with magma and swelling in preparation for its next eruption, whenever that may come. And that's our Hawaii Volcano Summary for this week.